Today I thought I would show you um, a sinkhole here in Florida. There are plenty of them. The result of a limestone formation that's crumbled under the stress of a lot of rain, drying out first, then getting wet, losing its stability, and the ground literally caves in and forms a lake. Now, here's one that you can see some of the original vegetation just kind of fell with the land. This is a pretty relatively small one here. But there's like a green pond scum on it. And it's uh, big enough. If your house was built on it, well, good luck with that one. The house would cave in. You can see how steeply the land goes up in the back there. This is a hilly area in central Florida. And over here is a really big sinkhole. Uh, it's not maybe apparent from the outside perimeter, but yeah, I'll maybe walk up that way. Here's the uh, Mustang. I drove up here, the 09. So we're going to take a look at this one, maybe. I'm going to take the keys out of the Mustang. There's no point in having an open invitation here. Okay, so much for that. Let's walk up to this perimeter here. Notice how steeply the hillside goes up on that side here. Walk here to the edge, see what we can see. Ah. And down there is water. And let's see, let's maybe walk around this way. Essentially, it was a, a land collapse, I would say, here, because you see, again see the vegetation at the bottom, which was probably at the top before the land gave out. There's a big sinkhole around here where there used to be a golf course back in the 30s, I believe, and the whole thing gave way. It's now a uh, protected area. Ah, here we go. You can see the land subsidence here. More water down here. And extends further up here. Looks like some giant ragweed there. You can see how the Look at that slope of that land there going up. So my guess is that this whole area settled. And that was a very 
base of it down there. Interesting area. Everybody that thinks that Central Florida is flat, this is a good example. This is uh, Mount Dora. There's a big sinkhole up in Gainesville called the Devil's Millhopper. That is big. The legend was if you fell into that, it was your gateway to hell. Hence the uh, term, the Devil's Millhopper. It's a state park now. I've been there. And I have been to the base of the Devil's Millhopper. There's a nice stream running through. Didn't fall through to the other side, though. Interesting geologic formations. Ah, there are a couple ducks swimming in the pond there. Cool. That gives you an idea of the overall gradation of the land here. Okay.